What is it that separates cancer survivors from those who lose their life to cancer? After several decades and over 500 billion spent on cancer research, surely we can now answer this question. Is it the type and stage of cancer? Is it diet? And if so, what type of diet is best for fighting cancer? Is it exercise? And if so, what type of exercise? Weights or cardio? High intensity or low intensity? Is it opt-in for traditional treatment such as chemotherapy or radiography? Or is it opt-in for more homeopathic food supplement based treatments? Is it genetics? Are some people just better designed to cope with and combat cancer? Well, the truth is, it's probably a combination of all of these things. And the answer to each of these questions, in turn, will dictate the best approach for you individually. There doesn't seem to be a one-size-fits-all approach. There's just too many variables and complexities for the answer to be so well-defined and universally apparent. And whilst many people's opinions differ on this, this is probably the most accurate way of explaining why there's still no cure for cancer, despite several decades and hundreds of billions of dollars being spent on researching the topic. So, with these frustrating vagaries in mind, we often revert to anecdotal stories from individuals where, despite everyone's uniqueness and individual situation, it provides a level of comfort to be given a definite answer on the combination of things they did to beat their own cancer, and helps form perhaps a more tangible, concrete roadmap than the masses of often conflicting and overwhelming information out there on the topic of cancer treatment. So we brought together a summary of 10 famous cancer survivors and highlighted what they have credited their individual recoveries to. At number one is the once famous, now infamous, professional road racing cyclist Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong was diagnosed with testicular cancer that had spread to his lungs, abdomen and brain in 1996. His exact stage of cancer was not publicly disclosed, but since the cancer had spread to other parts of the body, it's assumed that this was probably at least stage 3. After undergoing surgery to remove a testicle and undergoing chemotherapy and radiation treatment to target the remaining cancer cells that had spread, he was declared cancer-free in 1997. Armstrong credits his positive attitude, determination and support from family and friends for his successful battle against cancer. He's also mentioned using acupuncture, visualisation and relaxation techniques as part of his cancer treatment and recovery. Next is a singer, songwriter and actress, Olivia Newton-John. Olivia Newton-John has had cancer three times in her life. In 1992, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She underwent treatment, which included a partial mastectomy, chemotherapy and breast reconstruction and was able to overcome the disease. In 2013, Newton-John was diagnosed with a second bout of breast cancer, which had spread to her shoulder. Her team stated that this was a metastatic breast cancer, meaning that the cancer had spread beyond the breast to other parts of the body. She underwent treatment, including radiation therapy, and was again able to overcome the disease. Most recently, in 2017, Newton-John was diagnosed with a third cancer, this time a tumour in the base of her spine. She again underwent treatment and has spoken publicly about using a combination of traditional medical treatments and complementary and alternative therapies. These include herbal supplements, meditation and yoga. Specifically, she credits medicinal cannabis, turmeric, milk thistle and mistletoe extract as helping her treatment program. The actor Robert De Niro is another famous cancer survivor. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2003. He underwent surgery to remove the cancerous gland and a a course of radiation therapy to prevent reoccurrence and has been cancer-free ever since. De Niro credits early detection and a healthy lifestyle for his successful recovery. Christina Applegate, the actress and dancer, was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2008. She underwent a double mastectomy and reconstructive surgery and has been cancer-free ever since. Applegate credits her successful recovery to a combination of surgery, traditional medical treatment, which presumably refers to a radiation therapy, a healthy diet and exercise. Singer Kylie Minogue is another celebrity that was diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2005. She underwent a partial mastectomy, also known as a lumpectomy, followed by chemotherapy and radiotherapy. 
A lumpectomy is a surgical procedure in which only the tumour and a small amount of surrounding tissue are removed while preserving most of the breast tissue. In addition to conventional treatments, Minogue has spoken publicly about her use of complementary and alternative therapies to help manage her cancer symptoms and improve her overall well-being. She has reportedly used a variety of therapies including acupuncture, massage, aromatherapy and visualisation techniques. In 2006, singer Cheryl Crow was diagnosed with breast cancer. She underwent surgery and radiation therapy and has been cancer-free ever since. Crow credits her successful recovery to a combination of traditional medical treatment, a healthy diet and exercise. The famous baseball player Eric Davis was diagnosed with colon cancer in 1997. He underwent surgery and chemotherapy and has been cancer-free ever since. Davis credits his successful recovery to early detection and a positive attitude. NFL player Mark Herzlick was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer in 2009 called Ewing's sarcoma and had to sit out the entire football season to undergo treatment. He underwent surgery to remove the tumour and then underwent chemotherapy and has been cancer-free ever since his recovery. Herzlick credits his successful recovery to a combination of traditional medical treatment, a healthy diet, exercise and a positive attitude. In 2003, actress Edie Falco was diagnosed with breast cancer. She underwent a lumpectomy and chemotherapy and has been cancer-free ever since her recovery. Falco credits her successful recovery to a combination of traditional medical treatment, alternative therapies, of which one consisted of following a macrobiotic diet, and exercise. The macrobiotic diet typically includes foods such as brown rice, whole grains, vegetables, beans and legumes, seaweed, fermented foods and small amounts of fish, seafood and lean meats. Foods that are avoided or limited on the macrobiotic diet include dairy products, refined sugar, processed foods and most animal products including red meat and poultry. Finally, in 2010, actor Michael C. Hall was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. He underwent chemotherapy and radiation therapy and has been cancer-free ever since. Hall credits his successful recovery to early detection, a healthy lifestyle and a positive attitude. So there you have it, 10 examples of famous people that have been diagnosed with various forms of cancer and recovered. If we look at common characteristics amongst the treatment for all of these people, we can see that surgery, where applicable, traditional radiation-based therapy, healthy diet, exercise and a positive attitude feature across pretty much all of them, with some opting to complement these core things with alternative therapies. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to also hit the bell symbol when you do so you can be notified of any new health and wellness videos that we post. Thanks for watching.